हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम व्हिच वाज आस्ड इन आई एम ओ टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन इंटरनेशनल मैथमेटिक्स ओलम्पियाड इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एंड इट वाज द प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन पेपर दिस क्वेश्चन वाज फ्रॉम फंक्शनल इक्वेशन चैप्टर एंड द क्वेश्चन वॉज लेट आर कैपिटल आर बी द सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर डिटरमाइन ऑल द फंक्शन विच मैप्स फ्रॉम कैपिटल आर टू कैपिटल आर दैट इज रियल टू रियल सच दैट फॉर एनी एक्स एंड वाई विच बिलोंग्स टू रियल नंबर्स The functional equation was given as f of f of x times f of y plus f of x plus y equals to f of x y. So this was the functional equation which was given in that question paper for problem number two. So let's solve this question without wasting any time. And if you like the solution, then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. So let's start the solution. First of all, what I did here because this this functional equation was with two variables x and y. I plugged. y equals to zero. First step was plugging y equals to zero. Then what I get f of f of x times f of zero plus f of x because plus zero is nothing. So uh, equals to f of x into zero. That means zero. So let's call this equation number one. This as equation number two. Now here, if we observe carefully, here f of zero can take a uh, any value. We don't know much about it. so uh, all the numbers which uh, f of 0 can take and one number uh, if we observe that uh, if f of 0 is non zero then this input that this function is getting f of x times f of 0 will not be a constant because it will vary with fx but if we take f of 0 as 0 it uh, the whole term which is inside this outside outer function will turn out to be constant that will be zero so here by observing this we can to take two cases uh case number 1 f of 0 is 0 just we are assuming that f of 0 is 0 we don't know about whether it will be or not so let's check uh, case 1 f of 0 equals to 0 uh, if i take here uh, like that then what i will get here f of 0 plus f of x equals to f of 0 f of 0 will get cancel out then f of x equals to 0 so if i take f of 0 equals to 0 then it will turn out that fx will be a constant function which is equals to 0 for all x belongs to real and also we can see that if fx equals to 0 uh, is a function which we have got then we can justify it from the given mother equation if we, if i substitute f of x equals to 0 then this will turn out to be 0 this will also be 0 and this will also be 0 so 0 plus 0 equals to 0 hence it is justified so this is one of the solutions now if i take case 2 like f of 0 equals to t where t belongs to real excluding 0 t is non zero real number so i have just used one uh, another variable that is t for f of 0 so now let's substitute over here f of t times fx plus fx equals to t we can simplify it f of t fx equals to t minus fx now one thing i can see here because f of x will also vary with the varying values of x because f of x is also a subset of real and x is also a subset of real so what can i do is uh, what i can do here is let's substitute t times fx equals to y so from here i can write uh, fx as y divided by t now substituting this in this equation equation number 3 what i will get f of y because t fx is has been taken as y equals to t minus fx equals to y by t so i will substitute here y divided by t so this is the another this is another function which we have got from case 2 now the only thing which we have to determine to determine all the functions uh, which are the solution of this functional equation is the value of t so to determine the value of t what i will do i will just use this function in the whole mother equation and i will uh, somehow manage to get the value of t so let's use this in the mother equation calling this for using 1 and 4 here f of f of x f of y so what can i do f of f of x means t minus x by t multiplied by f of y means because i will substitute over here so t minus y over t 
plus f of x plus y that means t minus x plus y by t equals to f of x y that means t minus x y by t now here it is also a function so now we will simplify this it will turn out to be t minus this whole term uh, t minus uh, this this whole term t minus x over t t minus y over t divided by t plus t minus x plus y divided by t equals to t minus x y by t now let's simplify this t minus if i take lcm in the both the brackets then i will get t square minus x t square minus y and these two t's and this single t t cube this t this t will get cancelled out and i will take this term in the rhs x plus y minus x y divided by t now let's take your lcm here as well t raised to the power 4 minus t raised to the power 4 uh, let's write other things as well then we will simplify t uh, t raised to the power 4 then uh, minus y t square minus x t square and here once again there is a minus sign so we will write here using a plus sign so x plus y t square then minus 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 then minus x y this will get cancel out so what we are left with this t will cancel out as t square because t is non zero one thing to be noted is i have taken t non zero that's why i am cancelling t so easily now let's take another step x plus y and this was t square so i can just take it out as common Minus x y divided by t square equals to x plus y minus x y. This x plus y will get uh, subtracted, subtracted or cancelled directly. Directly. Now here, if I carefully observe, this uh, x y also will get cancelled out. So t square is nothing but one. After simplifying this step, we, you can easily get to this. So here we are left with another two possibilities: either t equals to one, which is f of zero, or t equals to minus one. Which will be f with the value of f of zero. So now for these two values of t, let's define the what was what are the functions. Taking it to the next page. What our function was, I am showing you once again. The function was f of y. Let's write here f of y equals to t minus y divided by t. Okay. So now we had two possibilities. Sub case one. T equals to one. That is f of zero equals to one. So f of y equals to one minus y, or you can simply write f x equals to one minus x for all x belongs to capital R. This was this is one of the functions. Sub case two. T equals to minus one. That is f of zero equals to minus one. So if I write here f of y equals to minus one minus Y divided by minus one, it is nothing but minus one plus y. If I write in the terms of x, then minus one plus x. It is your another function. Now we have got total three functions. First function was our constant function from case one, and two functions from your case two that is sub case one and sub case two that is t equals to for t equals to one and t equals to minus one. So let's summarize all these three functions. We have got total three functions as answer. first function was fx equals to 0 for all x belongs to capital r second function is fx equals to 1 minus x for all x belongs to capital r third one is f of x equals to minus 1 plus x for all x belongs to capital r now since we have three functions we have to justify all the three functions that these three functions are the solution of this three uh, this given functional equation because it was the question from international mathematics olympiad so just uh, you have to do because i have already told how to justify this similarly you will justify the second and the third functions so this is the answer for this uh, question that these three functions are the solutions for this given functional equation so i hope you understood the solution and also like the solution if you like the solution then please like the video and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos Thanks for watching.